Hiya, this is a short video tutorial I'm going to make for you now um, to help you get started with the piece called Make Way for the King by Pam Wedgwood. This piece is from the book Grade 0 to 1 Upgrade Piano Book and it's also by Pam Wedgwood and uh, we're on page 3. I'm going to play this piece for you hands together now with the dynamics and the articulation so you can hear what it's meant to sound like. Um, whilst I'm playing, uh, follow the music along as best you can. Here we go. So um, what I'm going to demonstrate for you first is the left hand. The left hand is really easy. Um, the first five bars, you don't really have to change hand position very much. Um, so what we're going to do is put your little finger of your left hand on the C and your thumb on the G. OK, so in the first bar, we've got two chords like this. And you need to hold each one of those for two beats like this. One, two, one, two. Bar two is the same chord, but you play it three times. The first two are short crotchets. The second one is a minim. Okay, so my advice now is to practice bars one and two back to back like this. Okay, so um, if you have a look at bar three, four and five, they're essentially the same. So what we need to do for bar three is play that C and G chord once more, followed by C and A. And all you need to do for that is just shift your left thumb up one note to the right, and then you've got A. So bar three sounds like this. Okay, bar four is identical. You've got the G and the C and the A and the C. And then bar five is identical again, G and C and A and C. OK, so I'm going to play for you now from bar one, from the beginning, all the way to the end of bar five. It'll sound like this. Bar six, you need to move your left thumb back onto the G because you'll have just been playing the A. So the thumb is back onto the G and you're going to be doing G, F, E, C. Okay, so the fingers there will be one, two, three, and five, and it will sound like this. Okay, um, the great thing about bars seven, eight, and nine are that they are identical to bars three, four, and five. So where you've got the C and the G chord followed by the C and the A chord. Um, and then if you have a look at bar 10, in the left hand, it's identical to bar six. So essentially, you've now done the first half of it. Okay, so I'm gonna play the left hand all the way through from the beginning to the end of bar 10, and it should sound like this. Um, I'm going to talk you through the next little bit. The next little bit has got lots of quavers in it. Don't put, don't let that put you off. Um, I'll talk you through it nice and slowly. Okay, so you'll have just finished bar 10 with your little finger on the C. This is time for your first major hand position change. All you've got to do is shift your left hand down three notes, sorry, two notes to the left. One, two. 
so that your little finger in the left hand is on an A. Your right hand, sorry, your your thumb in your left hand needs to be on the E. So um, bar 11 is and 12 is the same rhythm as bars 1 and 2. Okay, so the chords will sound like this. So the notes that I've just been playing are A and E. Okay, after that, bar 13, what you have to do is move your hand, your left hand, back up so that your thumb is on the A. Now, once you've done that, make sure that you've got one finger resting over each key. And then that bar, 13, all it is for the left hand is each of those notes, one after the other. So A, G, F, E. And that happens twice. Once in bar 13, once in bar 14, like this. Bar 15 and 16 is super easy. It looks tricky, but trust me, it's not. All you've got to do is shift your hand up one to the right. Okay, so the notes there in bars 15 and 16 are B, A, G, F. And you do that twice, like this. Then bar 17, again, you're going to shift up one to the right so that your thumb's on a C. And the notes are C, B, A, G. And then you play them like this. OK, we've got two more hand positions coming up. So next bar, 18, you're going to shift up one to the right again so that your thumb's on a D. And those notes are D, C, B, A. And they go like this. And then bar, in, bar 19, shift up one last time to the E, and then you play E, D, C, B. So it goes like this. And then the last two bars, so that is bar 20 and 21, you've just got five Cs. Two long ones, two short ones, one long one, like this. Which actually is the same rhythm as the beginning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the right hand from the beginning. OK, so your hand position is like this. You need to rest your right thumb on middle C and your right little finger on the G. Rest one finger over each consecutive key. Now, you don't have to move your hand until the fourth line in this piece. So this is really nice. OK, so I'm just going to do the first bar. So that's five notes and the notes are G, F. E, D, F. And it sounds like this. OK, bars one and two and three, actually, are exactly the same as each other. So you've got to play that little bit three times back to back like this. Then bar six is only three notes. E, D, C, just like this. Okay, the good news is that bars um, seven and eight are exactly the same again as bars three, four and five. So you're going to play that same pattern two more times. Now, bar nine is pretty much the same as the previous bars, but just with a couple of extra notes added. So the notes are going to be G, F, E, D, E, F. D. OK, so I'm going to play bar nine to you now. OK, so um, the last three notes of this section, so in bar 10, E, D, C, like this. OK, we're moving on to the fourth line now. So there is one hand position change, um, our first hand position change, I should say. So in bar 13, it says that we need to start on the fourth finger on E. So shift your right hand down one note to the left so that your fourth finger is on that E. Now you've only got four notes to play here and it's repeated in bar 14. So that's really nice and straightforward. So the notes are E, D, C, B. So that will sound like this. OK, so you're going to play that twice. Like that. Bars, four to, uh, bars 15 and 16, all you've got to do is shift your hand up one to the right so that the notes are F, E, D, C. And you're going to play those twice. OK, 
Okay, we're almost there. We're on to the last line now. Bar 17, shift your hand one note up to the right so that your fourth finger is on the G. You've got G, F, E and D to play, but just once this time. Bar 18, you're going to shift up one more to the right. So those notes were A, G, F, E. And the last time we do this now, bar 19, we shift up one to the right again. And we've got B, A, G, F. Those notes sound like this. OK, two more bars to go. This last little bit is super easy. We've got five Gs. It's the same rhythm as at the beginning. We've got two slow ones, two short ones, and then one slow one again, like this. OK, I hope that's helped. Um, my advice is take it really, really slowly. Keep breaking down um, the piece into sections and repeat each section. And then only when you're ready, have a go hands together. OK, good luck.